Hey guys, um, Spartan124 here again after a long hiatus, coming back just to show you some updates I've got so far on the uh, Hidden Blade. Um, first off, I want to show you guys uh, the bench I made. I'm kind of proud of it. I'm not much of a craftsman, but I think it's pretty good, you know, for the wood work, which my Hidden Blade is ironically made out of wood right now. Just the uh, prototype though. Alright, so this is uh, just the basic, the base layout, you know what I'm talking about, that goes on the... Uh, forearm. This is 8 inches long, and uh, this is just a rough size. I'm, um, okay, it's an inch and a half wide. 8 inches long, if an inch and a half. Um, this will house the uh, the current iteration of the uh, hidden blade. This is just the scabbard part, not the uh, dual action. This is wood with a pulley system. With little tiny screws in it, so you can see that. Six screws and a little wire. Basically, if I incorporate the DAOTF system from the previous video, pretend this is the blade from the previous video, it would shoot forward, back, forward, lock, back, you know, same thing. But the problem would be is that uh, there's not enough extension, really. Honestly, that's not, that's not a big blade at all. That barely reaches past my fingertips. Not even, all right? So I thought of this design, a pulley system, basically. You pull this, and the blade travels outward. It's a little messed up in there. This is just a prototype, but it travels out fully to right there. So, this, the, the pulley system, it extends the blade from 8 inches. This is the scabbard. This is 8 inches to a length of over, just over, roughly, um, just over... 14 inches. So 14 plus 8 minus the 2, so 14 plus 6, that's 20. 20 inches of extension. This is for the DAOTF system. So that is much better. Let me move the tripod a little more. I think I'll take that. But uh, with the current system I have set up, with single string. This would have a, a, a uh, spring inside, so when it, there was no tension on the string, string spring would pull this part back in into the retracted position. The only problem is with this current design is that I want to keep the uh, height of the whole mechanism to a minimal, you know, size. So if I can make a d dual action OTF mechanism for this, but it would be like three fourths of an inch thick, which is unacceptable for me. But I might have to do that just as a prototype. But uh, this is just what I've got so far, guys. Um, <clears throat> basically, dual OTF with the Scotch yoke mechanism that Amon Ra used. You trigger it with a string. I'm thinking some kind of maybe like a muscle twitch technique. I know you guys hate that idea. Most of you guys are into this. But uh, basically, it shoots forward. Travels out. Locks. With the locks, right? OTF. Pops out that far, okay. Okay, when that's you're done, whatever stabbing a uh, watermelon, <laughs> then uh, the spring would, after you disengage the locks, it would travel backwards and into the retracted position. Yep, that's a hidden blade, guys. Um, just comment, rate, subscribe. Oh, well, one more thing. My uh, girlfriend, my lovely girlfriend, she bought me the uh, sort of Altair. So that would be really good for my new costume, which will be the either Altair or the uh, Turkish Assassin armor from uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. I don't know. Give me some feedback. Which one do you guys want me to do? I'll post some videos and pictures of my armor Brutus that I built. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening.